Hi, it's Jen, and I'm going to show you real quickly how you can share any resource inside of Discovery Education to your Google Classroom. So I'd like to share this Titanic animation with my students. So I'm going to open up the resource, and this works on any resource available in Discovery Education. I'm going to go to the three dots where it says More, and I'm going to click on Share. When I do that, it pulls up this pop-up box. And the first time you do this, it will require you to log in and allow access to your Google Classroom. So I'm going to click on Google Classroom and this dialog box will pop up. And now I'm going to pick the Google Classroom that I want to share this resource with. So I can choose my class and then choose my action. So I can choose to create an assignment, ask a question, make an announcement or create a material. So you're going to determine which type of assignment you want this to be in Google Classroom. We're going to make this an assignment and I'm going to click go. Now from here, I have a couple of options. One, I can go ahead and toggle down and select all of the classes that I want this to go to, in my case, my different schools, or I'm just pushing out to my one school. If I keep it in one school for me, or in your case, one class, I can drill down and I'll determine which of my students I want that resource to go to. Before you assign it to your students, I'm going to make a suggestion. Put some instructions in there that say, be sure to log in to Discovery education first before clicking on the link below. The reason you want to do that is that we're single sign-on in our district. You want to tell students that they should have already gone into my backpack. They should have already logged into Google Classroom and just tell them while they're in my backpack to go ahead and click on the Discovery Education icon. Because if they just click on that link without being logged in, they're going to get a prompt that prompts them to log in and they might have an issue. Additionally, I could schedule this for later if need be or save it as a draft because maybe I'm going to come back and I want to add some resources, maybe a text that they need to read or a writing prompt. Once this is open, if I don't want to directly push it to Google Classroom, but I'm going to use it in Google Classroom with a number of other resources, I can just copy this link right here and paste that into my Google Classroom as well. I hope this tip helped. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.